first of all, I'm Anthony. And I'm Sal. Hi. <laughs> and this is our magic building, all right? Um, and in a few minutes, you'll find out how this building started us on our journey to grow by about, no kidding, 2,400%. All right, I'm sure you, you all want to find out why. But first of all, we'll start with our story. Um, I've just moved, we just moved our, our location on, on our outdo, outdoor boot camp. And, and we'd had quite a few clients and were quite successful, but we moved. We moved location and we dropped to five clients. That's all we had left in an outdoor boot camp. And <coughs> that just wasn't going to, wasn't going to cut it for us. We, we, our longest standing client came up to us and said he was moving on. Um, he'd been there for years and, and he was moving away. And we thought to ourselves, we're, we're stuffed really. We've, we've got nowhere where we can go. This, this, we're going to have to get a, a real job. Everyone's been telling us, go get a real job. And we came to that conclusion. We went home and I, I just, I've been getting emails from NPs, maybe a lot of you have for honestly years. And um, not really paying attention, but one, one caught our eye and it was, it was from a fellow called Rick and uh, it seemed convincing. It was about a one day event and we headed up to the one day event and it's it, strangely enough, it was um, at the Jibung RSL, which was that building there, our magic building. Uh, shocking little place. Anyone knows Brisbane just tucked out the back and we sat down with Rick and I think, how many people were there, Sal? I think there were two other people in the room. Two other people. So it was yeah, very cosy intimate. and intimate. And Rick, Rick sold us on, on Evolution Accelerator. And we started with that. And we ran with that for a whole week. Um, and then we realized that we had to do something about it. We wanted to. He was trying to sell us on VIP. But we just couldn't afford it. For four clients doesn't cover what it was to get into VIP at that stage. So we thought about it. So... What did we do next? Well, this, this, this is going to be an overriding theme for, for how we went along. What did we do, Sal? We had courage and practiced we, faith. Yeah. We, we withdrew on a loan that we had, came up with the money, um, and, and, and started into VIP after a week. It was just before Christmas, um, nearly two years ago. It was like a, 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 two days before Christmas we signed up to VIP. And uh, as some of you may remember from early on, that we, we had success with icing, our Icing the Cake campaign um, and our new semi-private model. So we didn't do too bad at the start. But that first year, we, growth was not what we'd really hoped, was it, Sal? Not at all. We, uh, we tended, I was looking at uh, what Sean was talking about before in the stages. So obviously we started in stage one when we made that uh, leap of faith. Our five clients were bringing in $40 a week and you times that out over the month was $800 a month and our payments for VIP was more than that. So it was a huge step of faith for us. We definitely uh, had to be very courageous in that but we knew it's what we needed to do. We did. So <coughs> we went along with that for, for about 12 months, just, just not following the instructions really. Well, yeah. we, we really didn't. Um, but in 2015, we actually attended the new VIPU with Dane. Um, mm. it, it didn't look like that at all. But, um, <laughs> in our it, mind, it did. It did, yeah. <laughs> and, and it was fantastic. It really, we gained so much clarity. Yeah, Dane, we Dane was on absolute fire that weekend. I don't know if any of you have not been to VIPU, but if you haven't, it's an absolute must because that was the changer for us. Dane, you're a champion. It, was awesome. it did, and, and with that clarity, we gained direction. Um, we actually we actually set some targets, uh, and back then we set a target of twenty thousand dollars a month and a hundred clients by the end of October, where we are now. Um, we we went we actually threw a threw ourselves into it. Um, we spent every spare cent we reinvested in, just as Sean did, we spent every spare dollar we had reinvesting in our education. And for us, it was marketing. We threw ourselves into marketing completely. Um, Facebook marketing, YouTube, lead generation, all that thing. We really had to generate that. We, we came from having five clients. Our 
Sales process was fantastic. We'd learnt all that through, through NPE. Um, Sal had a close rate, still has a close rate of nearly 100% once we get people in the door, but we had to get people in the door. So we set ourselves those targets. Now, first campaign, actually, after, after implementing everything we did in the start of the year, we actually doubled our client base with one campaign. Okay, we weren't at five anymore, but we still doubled our campaign. Right? And we actually reached capacity. We had a small studio, 50 square meter studio. Jackie was there and it's, it was small, wasn't it, Jackie? You were hitting your head on the roof. Um, <laughs> That's not hard. Not hard. <laughs> yeah. um, so we reached capacity with our semi-private clients and, and we realized that um, what we were gonna do, what did we have to do next? And what did we do? To have courage and practice faith. So yeah. we said, what are, here we were in a place that we didn't have to pay rent on, nice and, nice and small. We'd reached capacity, but <laughs> we needed to step it up, and that's what we did. We actually um, went and moved from uh, essentially paying no rent to $3,000 a month facility. Um, how did you feel about all that, Sal? I was just going to say, with <laughs> every relationship, there's always a yin and a yang, and I don't know which one's which, but... Anthony and I and so many things are at polar opposites, which is why I think it works so well. We're in business together, we do life together, we have fun together. So taking that leap of faith and having courage was a very hard thing for me to do, being the emotional one in the couple. It's usually the female, but not always. Definitely is in our case. I remember one morning sitting out the back when we do, we just have 20 minutes each morning where we connect and have our coffee and I was sitting there crying, going, I can't do this. So our little small one where Jackie's hitting her head when she trains there, that's safe. But like Sean said this morning, safe is not where growth is. And while it was hard for me, I knew that that next step is what I had to do. And I don't know if any of you are in that position in your business now, but if I can encourage you to practice faith, have courage, it's the right thing to do and you will have amazing growth from it. Yeah. So we started, we invested. Uh, we couldn't afford to have anyone but ourselves um, renovate the place. So we had clients come in and help. Uh, we did all the painting work ourselves. We contracted out training for, with builders to come in and, and, and do our work for us. So we moved from that, from a little, like I said, 50 square meter, tiny little place. We took a leap of faith and we ended up there. Uh, we, we're now filling it up. Massive amounts of people now, um, completely different. We actually have world-class workshops now. Uh, Alex Salkin came down, Pierce came down uh, to help run the, the workshop. So <clears throat> we've gone from this little boot camp. That's where we started, five clients. And, and that was less than two years ago. So where are we now? Uh, let's see some numbers. So we started with five clients before MPE. Um, Making 800 bucks a month, it was nothing. It was, it was a, at that point, it, was, it wasn't even a hobby business. It, it really wasn't. Um, so right now, where are we right today? End of October, we just signed up our 100th client. So we hit our first target. We're now doing over $20,000. We went back through the figures a month, right? And as some of you saw on the, on the VIP forums, our best ever month was over 70,000 in new business. Um, from running what we've learned in marketing, what we've learned in MPE. So, but what do we do next? We're at a point, we're at a bit of a crossroads actually. Um, we're not at crossroads really. We know where we, we're heading, but we're at a, at a juncture. We've got our, our path lined out for us for the gym where we want to head for there. MPE is helping us get there. But where we want to do. So we're, once again, we follow this. We follow this all the time. Uh, Another coach in MPE told us, and it was the most amazing thing for us, he says, always put yourself in a position where you have to act. So whenever we think, is, is, is this the right? Is it too difficult? Is it too much money? Is it too much of our time? Do we have too much to lose? We'll say, well, we'll put ourselves in that position. Because if you, if you do, you have to act. So that's what we did. And we've actually now established our own marketing company. For everything we've learned, um, We've been accepted into Russell Brunson's elite level coaching program. Only one of three Australians who've been accepted into that program. And we're one of those three now in terms of our, 
our marketing program. Um, we actually plan to publish our first book next year. We've been speaking to some publishers, so that's taking off. And we're, speaking, we're in talks with people in terms of franchising out and, and creating our gym that started with five, five boot campers into a franchisable system that can move out. So that's where we're heading. Um, we're going to finish early, but wait, there's more. Um, I want everyone to, to take this on board because we followed it 100% the way through, and that's that have courage, practice faith. I want everyone to really, for us, that's what we latched onto. We're both NPE client principle one, which is personal responsibility. We're both really big on that anyway. That's how we always have lived our lives. But it was that second principle for us that, that we've really, uh, has driven our business to where it is today. So I can honestly tell you that two years ago with our five clients, for us to be, as Sean said again, dreaming big enough about the possibilities of franchising out and traveling internationally and all of those things that Anthony's talked about was just n nowhere near my sphere of thinking at all. But guys, are you dreaming big enough? Mm. And I would probably encourage you that you may not be and to expand it. The world's your oyster. There's no limits. Well, we don't. We went to a a marketing conference um, a little while ago <coughs> and most of the people who were in the room, uh, Russell Brunson was there, if people who people know Russell Brunson. Uh, he was there and most people came up and got nice little photos with him, but we approached him and we said, this is what we do. Can you help us? Would you be consider us in, in your program? And he said, tell me what you're after, tell me what, what you want from me, and he accepted us in and yet, most of the other people in the room, nearly every other person in the room w was, was sitting back going, oh, that's, um, that's too, too difficult, too far to go. But you, sh you have to put yourself in a position um, to act. And in everyone's business, t take that, that leap. Um, dig deep and, and, and that's what you can create. So. And uh, for us, we've got three teenage kids between us uh, and things have been hard. We, we've done the whole getting up early in the morning Kids don't see us at night because we're, we're down at the facility, but everything's changed now. We've got staff coming on board, and honestly, we, we owe it all to, to NPE. Yeah. We'd be still with five clients struggling. S Sal had a part-time job just to, to pay the bills, um, and it was terrible. She'd go and sit in a, in a hot bedroom with no air conditioning and, make, and do cold calling for someone else. Does that sound like fun? Who would like to do that? Yeah, nobody. But we did that to get through. And, and here we are now. So, um, yeah, that's our story, essentially. Yeah.